Good morning everyone, welcome to my weekly vlog. We've got a lot packed into this video, we're starting with a nice walk on the beach, a nice chilly walk with the dog and then this is just before Christmas Eve so the plan was to go to a club that we go to every year, it's tradition and as well as the whole family going, so do all of our family friends so it's just a big get together. <laughs> In the morning, it was obviously Christmas Day and Bear was waiting patiently to open his presents. He knows exactly what presents are now and just goes in for the rip. We started a Christmas walk tradition three years ago, still going strong. And it's really nice because if you think about it, you sat slobbed on the sofa all day. So I think it just energises you for the day. After Christmas, it was time to set up for my 30th birthday party. Now, we decided to have it in the garden in a marquee and we didn't quite realise how big the marquee was. Um, people were dropping left, right and centre saying that they had COVID and they couldn't make it. So we actually made this marquee a little bit smaller, but it's so roomy. This is how my party is looking. This is the day before. We've got a lighting rig. We have a bar with two cocktail um, bartenders have a booth, you have some champagne tables, you can actually sit on these as well. Dance floor DJ is going to go in the middle with the sax player and the MC. And then I just love the light the image because be it's... <laughs> yeah, Bear's going to be here. It's going to be strobes and lots of cool lighting effects and spotlight on the bar. And then you just come into the kitchen here and this is just going to be a table there for people to put the drinks. And we could really try and keep people out of here, but everybody ends up in the kitchen. The parties, don't they? Mum and Jade are just putting up the balloon arches, and they've got this wooden plank here to sit the arch on. And they've got party stuff here Gatsby themed feathers, a suit for Bear, and some like balloons and stuff 30 balloons. Mum and Jade have just done this amazing backdrop. Jade and Joanne events planners. What's happening, baby? What's happening? So everything was set up and this was the day before. So I went for a meal with my family to celebrate my 30th. But we had a slight issue with the parking. So above us right here is an archway and Joe's car was millimetres from touching it. What is this? <laughs> what about if you... Maybe this... Do you not lower your car down? Maybe this ramp's bit of the ramp's lower on this side. Well, I can't, can you put this back up? I can't watch it. Oh my god. Is she going to an angle? Is that not phone? No, there's no chance. So we did manage to get in after 20 minutes of manoeuvring and here we are at Peter Street Kitchen. I've always wanted to go here. It's Japanese mixed with Mexican cuisine. Had a really good night and got some nice family snaps. at the car park where we struggled getting into. I'm going to see if we can actually get out of it now. This is called Just Park. Never park. Never just park. Can he get under here again? He has to do it at a very specific angle. What a ridiculous car park. Oh my god. Touching the cell tape. That cell tape is touching. Well, yeah, I got a piece of paper over now, but... Yeah, it's paper. He's done it. You've done it. And the next night was party night, so Joe had got me this incredible cake made by my sister-in-law. She is the best cake maker ever, and it was time to party. I was nervous, hoping that everybody would turn up and that they weren't ill, but we had an absolutely fantastic night. What is going to Ready? 
We rang in the new year with some sparklers and honestly it was so nice to have everybody together. Skipping to the new year now, we came to stay in a cottage which we actually won in an auction on a charity night. Uh, I know the lady that has this cottage and she's made it absolutely beautiful. Love how she's decorated everything. Um, so it was really nice to just chill and unwind from a crazy December. Hannah, who owns it, is my age and I just think she's nailed all the little trinkets, candles, plants, diffusers and of course your log fire which I think is what defines a cottage. So we had the cottage to ourselves on this night and um, we went to an Italian and then the next night mum and dad came to stay with us so I really like that we got some quality time with them. This kitchen is decorated very country cottage style and I actually think it was the most perfect January stay because so relaxing, just no pressure to do anything, just sit and chill in this lovely house. I'm going to make a hella fresh meal here tomorrow night, we're eating out tonight at an Italian called Batula's little bowl for bear and she's also given us a little welcome kit which includes some zero alcohol some carver some prosecco some ipa dog treats a ball for bear lots of crackers little buttons she's thought of everything and then if you go up here like brand new carpet everything is absolutely immaculate master bedroom here you've got this really cool light <laughs> bears i'm missing around and then another fireplace here, which is well exciting because I don't think we've ever had, oh yeah, maybe Glen Eagles, but we've never had an actual bedroom with a fireplace like this, and especially a real one. And look at the slate walls. That is so cool. Love those bedsides. <laughs> Bear's not used to steep stairs like this. This is um, for the fifth person, if you were gonna have five people staying here, which is very cute, I love it. Look at this ratting wardrobe, just so interesting, and the bulbs and everything. Hair dryer, which is, oh, and straighteners. Amazing. Love this mirror, absolutely gorgeous. This bedroom, which my mum and dad are gonna be staying in tomorrow night. Pampas, loving the pampas. Look at these bulbs, absolutely stunning. I have a friend that would absolutely love this panelling. It's right up her street, this way gets nice and warm. Little book as well. Look at this. I wish I could decorate my house like this. It looks like it's from Mage.com. And the bathroom is absolutely stunning as well. Look how far this goes back. The cottage is quite deep, you don't realise. We have a bath. I wish I'd have known about a bath because I would have brought bath bombs. Well, there is bath foam from MS. Can't wait for mum and dad to come tomorrow. This vlog's to be continued, so watch out for next week's vlog where I show you around the lakes where we're staying. It will be live next Saturday at 9.30am. Thanks for watching.